I'm going to tell you my story, and I promise you, when I'm done with my story, you will know who Walter Vaughn is, and you will completely understand how I became a peak performer. How I became a peak performer. This is your chance to get in your weight room. This is your chance to get bigger. This is your chance to get stronger. This is your chance to get faster. And make sure you have a person at that door who has the social skill to connect. Your competition's gonna be good. And all of a sudden I heard this voice. It said this, but, 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 Walter, all but stink. How did a total stranger come into my house and close the deal? Here's how he did it. He first passed the eyeball test. He looked like success. He looked like money. He looked like success. He looked like money. He looked like someone I wanted to follow. Hi, this is Walter Bond. And let me guess, you're a meeting planner looking for that perfect speaker. I don't envy you. I just did a search online today looking at all the speakers out here. And there's a bunch of good speakers. I want you to know who I am completely so you can make the right decision. I think that decision is me, but as you know, I'm biased. In my research, this is what I learned. Great speakers have two qualities. They're very entertaining and dynamic, and they give their audience great information. That's how we've built our business. Every time I speak, I'm gonna be very entertaining and dynamic. Nobody's walking out going to the bathroom. Nobody's distracted by text. Every time I grab that microphone, I'm going to hold your audience for the entire keynote and I won't let them go until I'm done. I've been a peak performer in two different industries that are lucrative. Don't just provide a good product and a good service and leave it there. you got to provide a good product and a good service. But what's going to differentiate you from the competition are your social skills. How well do you connect each time a customer comes into your store? It has nothing to do with the economy. Here's the reality, as you recruit and build your team, I can help you. Every one of your team members should know my 31 peak performance keys, because if they execute them, they will be a peak performer. When you pick up a child, all of a sudden they can see the world the way you see it. I don't care what your children have done, there is nothing they can do for you to stop picking them up. Well, my daughter's a drug addict, I don't care, pick her up. My son messes up. I don't care. Pick him up. I learned a long time ago that the likability factor is the best kept secret in business. People want to buy from people they like. People want to hire people they like. People want to be led by people they like. FFA, hear me and hear me good. Are you likable? Some people can brighten up a room. We have people right now, you're successful because as an owner, you brighten up your room. When you walk into your store, you brighten up your store. Your presence, your personality, your spirit brightens up a room. But I also know this. Some people brighten up a room when they enter. Some people brighten up a room when they leave. Likeable people attract people. Does that make sense? Here's another benefit to being likable. When you screw up and people like you, they give you mercy. Raise your hand if you can use mercy from time to time. 